Evaporators. An evaporator, like a condenser, is additionally a device. In an evaporator, the refrigerant boils or evaporates and in doing so absorbs heat from the substance being refrigerated. The name evaporator refers to the evaporation process occurring within the device. Different types of evaporators. Flooded evaporator. This is typically utilized in large ammonia systems. The refrigerant enters a surge drum through a float type expansion valve. The compressor directly draws the flash vapor formed during expansion. This vapor does not participate in refrigeration hence its removal makes the evaporator more compact and pressure drops. The liquid refrigerant enters the evaporator from the rock bottom of the surge drum. This boils inside the tubes as heat is absorbed. The mixture of liquid and vapor bubbles rises up along the evaporator tubes. Shell and, shell and tube liquid chillers. The shell and tube type evaporators are very efficient and need minimum floor space and headspace. These are easy to take care of, hence they are very widely utilized in medium to large capacity refrigeration systems. The shell and tube evaporators are often either dry type or flooded type. Because the name implies, a shell and tube evaporator consists of a shell and an outsized number of straight tubes arranged parallel to every other. In the dry expansion type, the refrigerant flows through the tubes while in the flooded type the refrigerant is within the shell. A pump circulates the chilled water or brine. The shell diameters range from 150 mm to 1.5 meters. The number of tubes could also be 50 to many thousands and the length may be between 1.5 meters to 6 meters. Steel tubes are used with ammonia while copper tubes are used with freons. Ammonia features a very high heat transfer coefficient while freons have a rather poor heat transfer coefficient hence fins are used on the refrigerant side. Flooded type shell and tube evaporator. In shell and tube type liquid chiller, the liquid, usually brine or water, is chilled which flows through the tubes in a double pass like that in shell and tube condenser. The refrigerant is fed through a float valve, which maintains a continuing level of liquid refrigerant within the shell. The shell is not filled entirely with tubes. Direct expansion type evaporator. It is a type of liquid chiller in which the refrigerant flows through the tubes and water flows through the shell. A thermostatic expansion valve feeds the refrigerant into the tubes through the duvet on the left. It flows in several passes through the dividers within the covers of the shell on either side. The liquid to be chilled flows through the shell around the baffles. The presence of baffles turns the flow around creating some turbulence thereby increasing the warmth transfer coefficient. Baffles also prevent the short circuiting of the fluid flowing within the shell. Widely spaced baffles are used when the flow is high or the liquid viscosity is high. This is it for today's video. Let us know in the comment section, which topic you want to see next? Before leaving, check the exclusive offers, link in the description below. And do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. To find out more on the subject, continue watching the next video.